<clears throat> what are you looking at? Just the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Mm, that new Prince Charmsworth. <laughs> We've got the rest of our lives ahead of us. What are you going to do to me in that time? First, I'm going to tie you up in a tight, rough, binding legal partnership. <laughs> Naughty boy. Then I'm going to pull out and slip my big, impressive mortgage deposit into the bank. Now we're talking. When we move position, I'll lift from the knees and slap some packaging tape onto those moving boxes. Mm. <laughs> hey, honey. So we're out of some groceries. I went and grabbed a few things. How do you get dressed so quickly? Um. Um, thank you. And how many times have I told you not to put bad milk back in the fridge? Uh, I'm sorry. You know, when we move to the country, there'll be hardly anyone around to judge you when your hips get big. <laughs> wow, you really know how to take a girl's breath away. You were struggling to breathe four minutes ago. <laughs> Will you really still love me when we move away and grow old and fat together? Chaz, don't be silly. I love you that way now. <laughs> I don't know why I agreed to marry you. Sometimes I struggle to think of spending the rest of my life with only one woman. Um, excuse me? I mean, I struggle wanking over the same porn twice a week. It'll be a challenge, but I think together we can get through it. When I was a little girl, I wanted a guy who was caring, funny and emotional. <laughs> Where are all those guys? Oh. Probably at badminton practice with their boyfriends. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? We could see my mother, as you haven't spoken to her in eight months. You know I don't like to interrupt her. Funny. You know, I know something we could do. Wow, you're keen. Can't remember the last time we went twice in an hour. <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? I'm Max. <laughs> I'm Max. The same Max, born April, April 7th, 1992, to Michael and Julie Stevenson in the St. Louis, Louis Hospital. Hospital. This is unreal. It, it can't be possible. What do you remember before you came in that door? Uh, um, I, I woke up this morning. Uh, Jasmine was still asleep, so I wanted to make her breakfast in bed. Uh, I saw her out of groceries, so I went and grabbed a few things. You were going to, to make me breakfast in bed? You haven't done that for me in months. Hey, at least I decided to give you something a little special this morning. Actually, I would have been just as happy to play Monopoly with you, not let you have your way with me. They both seem like the same idea to me. Both good ideas at the start, but take way too long to finish. Alright, that's too much for me. That's my fiancé you're talking about there. I don't want to hear things like that about her coming from you! And I thought having just one of you was bad enough. How could this have happened? This is mental. I know, right? Was it something I did? Am I being punished? No, who am I kidding? Stupid to even consider. How am I going to explain this to my mother? Or anyone, for that matter? They'll think I'm crazy as soon as I open my mouth. See, even tilting it this way, mine looks bigger. Yeah, but that's because I just had sex, mate. Hey, what if we... Are you guys listening to me? <laughs> Max! 
Sorry to interrupt your play date with your new friend, but I've been trying to see a way that we can live with this. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 